Hi, this is Bruce Berry with Pro Sport Fisher. I'm down at the Caddis Fly Shop today, and we're going to tie a few um, a steelhead fly or two, and then a couple of flies specifically for swinging for trout, as that's becoming more popular. And um, I distribute a product in America called Pro Sport Fisher, and today we're going to go through the Marble Fox and kind of show you how to prep it. Uh, this happens to be Sunburst Yellow. Let me pull it out of the package. Yeah, you should be able to tell by looking at it because the scans are really thick, very thick. And what you'll find is this is a crossbreed species and it's really nice long hair, it's got good under fur, it's got good guard. It's kind of like massive arctic fox basically. And this is ready to go, you can comb this out and you can pull the wing and you can clip it off and tie the fly. But I've had a lot of people ask me like, how come it's so easy to make good looking wings and put the stuff in a dubbing loop? So what we're going to do is show you how I prep it and break it down off of the, off of the rounder, it's a tail piece. And uh, just a little bit of prep work goes a long ways for really good looking flies and just making yeah. tying the fly and, and, and attaching the wing or making your dubbing loops much easier to do. And, yeah, uh, way, um, so there's a quick introduction and um, we've got a couple of different stages here so we're going to kind of cut and paste this together so you see how we prep the marble fox. And the first thing I do since we're here is I just get that out and I mean I see sure. hair going every direction that's really tangled so the first thing I like to do and if you're going to comb this marble fox out, this tail leather is not real strong. So get a good firm grasp on the leather to comb it out. And you can see the brush having a little bit of an issue on the first couple of strokes. Yeah. It starts to get better. And the hair is straightening and aligning. Tangles are going away. You're also going to start noticing as you play with more and more marble fox, there's yeah. a top side and there's a bottom side, so you got, no matter what the hair length is, there's going to be some variance on texture and hair as you go around the rounder, and we'll show you that later on in the video. Yeah, let us know your way and we'll give you a hair. So just till that brush comes through clean and then we're good for this stage. Okay. Okay, so we've got the hair brushed out both sides and most of the tangles out. This is at a point where I don't think most people do this, but it's fine to tie with, but it gets better. So, uh, just to show you how I like to do it, when you open up that tail, a pretty generous piece. If you can see that leather, it's maybe an inch long by, I'm sure it's in millimeter measurements, but three eighths of an inch wide or so. So I'm going to make a couple of cut lines here and here. So I'm going to try to get roughly uh, heavy quarter inch pieces. So with a razor blade. It's a little bit tricky. The stuff cuts really easy, but you'll get used to pulling open the hair and keeping it out so you don't cut all that off. Okay, there's one. And so you're not putting too much pressure on that? No, just kind of letting the blade do the work, just letting it fall through the leather. The stuff, the leather on these tails is not like rabbit leather. It's not okay. like possum. It's, it's not very strong stuff. That's why you really got to pinch it when you're combing it. Sometimes you don't even have to cut all the way through. You can just kind of bend it, weaken it, break it apart. Okay, so end up with three of these. I'm going to pare that down just a little bit more even. So we cut this way. Now I'm just going to go back the other way. And now we've got manageable pieces of Arctic Marble Fox. I think I first started doing this just because I traveled so many shows and do so many demos away from my house, but this stuff, um, that way I didn't have to bring whole tails to tie flies. This stuff's amazingly dense and you get a lot of flies. You won't believe how many flies you'll get off that little piece of leather. I can probably get six or eight wings off of it. Okay, so what we're going to do here, and um, we're prepped and ready to go. And you can see that the packaging has put some pre-bends in the hair. Um, it's decent. Some of it's more bent, some of it's not as bent. We're actually going to put some unscented conditioner on this, rinse it through, lay it on some paper towels, we're going to let it dry and then we'll come back, show you the finished product, and then we'll tie some flies with it today. But you'll see like when you put it in a dubbing loop and spin it, it doesn't mat up, it just kind of much easier to work with in a dubbing loop. It's really nice for wings, it straightens everything out, the hair is just primo. I mean this is like extra super fine hair once we get done and it's really really easy, fairly quick straps. The only thing that takes a while is just letting it air dry on paper towels. So. With that, we'll start the uh, reset up the video camera and get going with the uh, wash and rinse. Uh, I've actually been called obsessive compulsive before, believe it or not. But uh, unscented conditioner 
we're going to put a little water conditioner on the hair, straighten everything out, put them on the bed of towels to dry, and then we'll tie some flies and show you what the finished product looks like here in about an hour. Might be a little bit noisy in here, but what you'll notice with this marble box, you can just put it under the water all day long, and it's not going to get wet. So just a little dab. We'll get it started to get the stuff wet. The condition will carry the water into the hair. And you can feel it, it's greasy and slick and you just kind of work through it, pinching the leather again. Now the conditioner is going away, I can feel my squeaky clean hair. Just going to wring the water out. Lay it to dry. You get a close up Chris, you can really see what you're dealing with for length on the hair as well. All right, so with our hair project, we cut it down off a rounder, brushed it out, put the conditioner on it, rinsed it, laid it down to dry. They're 95% dry, good enough. But as you can see, uh, visually, everything's straight. It has no preset from being packaged or bagged. It's not tangled. And what you can't do, unfortunately, is pick it up and feel it. But I mean, I can pull out a part, there's no tangles. I mean, it's just ready to go for wings. That would obviously be too heavy for a wing. Uh, you guys saw it in a dubbing loop in a video earlier, but I mean, Chris Daughters, what do you think of that stuff? It's an That's amazing, amazing difference. difference. Yeah, it's yeah. just a, it's a lot softer and straighter. Yep, easier, much easier to work with, much easier to get your wings just to look beautiful without a whole lot of messing around. So, you know, it's a non-scented conditioner and just a little bit of prep work. But you know, I like to just tear down a full rounder and do it. Then I can size, um, you know sort of my sizes and put them in zip Ziploc bags. Some flies you want as long as you can get. Sometimes the shorter stuff for dubbing loops is better. So you end up not using the long stuff for a dubbing loop and then only left with your short stuff. I think it's just a little bit of prep work makes this thing a much better hair. And I mean, this will work for your standard Arctic Fox. It'll work for a lot, any tail rounder, but uh, that Pro Marble Fox is a phenomenal hair to tie with. It really is.